Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to practically demonstrate a Java program to find the greatest common divisor of given numbers. Let's say the user has given the numbers 6 and uh, numbers another number 12. Now we need to find the greatest common divisor. Greatest common divisor of both these numbers. How to do that? For number six, what are the different divisors possible, guys? First of all, we need to find the divisors of the number six. For number six, one is a divisor because one when you divide this number six by one, you will get the remainder zero. That kind of divisors. Then coming to two, will the remainder be zero or not? Yes. When you divide this number six by two, you will get the remainder zero. Two, three is a six. Six minus six is equal to zero. Then coming to three, yes, three to the six, remainder zero. Four. Not possible. 4 1 the 4 reminder is coming as 2. Not possible. 5 5 1 the 5 reminder is coming as 1. No, so not possible. Finally, 6, the same number 6 itself. Can you divide 6 by 6? Yes. Are you getting the reminder 0? Yes. 6 1 the 6, 6 minus 6 is equal to 0, reminder 0. Now these are the different divisors of the number 6. What about 12? What are the different divisors of the number 12? For number 12, these are the different divisors, guys. You can divide this number 12 by 1 and you can get the remainder 0. 1 12 is a 12. So 12 minus 12 is equal to 0. Then followed by 2. 2 6 is a 12. So 0 is the remainder. Then coming to 3. 3 4 is a 12. 12 minus 12 is equal to 0. 4 4 3 is a 12. 12 minus 12 is equal to 0. Remainder. Every every divisor here is resulting in a remainder 0 guys. Only that divisor I am writing out here. Coming to 5. Is it possible? 5 2 is a 10. So 12 minus 10 is equal to 2. 2 is a reminder. So 5 cannot be accepted here. Coming to 6. Yes, 6 can be accepted because 6 to the 12. 12 minus 12 is equal to 0. Then 7. 7, uh, 7 1 the 7. Uh, reminder is 5. So not possible. 8. 8 1 the 8. Reminder is 4. Not possible. 9 1 the 9. Reminder is 3. Not possible. 10. 10 1 the 10. Reminder is 2. Not possible. 11. 11 1 the 11. And uh, 12 minus uh, 11 is equal to 1. Reminder is 1. So not possible. Finally, 12. 12 1 is 12. 12 minus 12 is equal to 0. Reminder 0. So, this is another divisor of 12. So, these are the different divisors of the 6 and these are the different divisors of 12. Can you tell me what is a greatest and at the same time common divisor? For that, let's start here. Let's start with the greatest. Okay, greatest of all the divisors. When you consider both 6 and 12, 12 is the greatest number right here coming to the divisors also 1, 2, 3, 6, 1, 2, 3, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 12. Out of this all these divisor numbers, which one is greatest? 12. But is 12 a common one? Between 6 and 12, is a 12 common one? Common divisor? No. 12 is a common uh, is a divisor for 12. But uh, you cannot uh, you cannot use 12 as a divisor for 6, right? 6 doesn't have the divisor as 12. So this is not a common one. Common means both the numbers should have. Then coming to the next greatest number, that is 6. 6 is a divisor of 12. At same time, 6 is a divisor of 6. That means it is a common. First property is matching. Common divisor is matching. And also, out of all the remaining divisors, 6 is the greatest, right? So both the conditions should match. It should be greatest. At same time, it should be common. That kind of number is nothing but 6. Now, we need to write a Java program which can find this kind of greatest common divisor of given numbers. So let me practically show you how to write a Java program to get this common greatest divisor of given numbers. So for that, I'll get started with the Java program where I'll try to intake inputs from the user. These two numbers that is 6, for example, if the user want to enter this 6 and 12, I want to intake this user's Intake, intake these inputs from the user itself. So for intaking some inputs from the user, we need to create an object for the scanner class. Scanner scanner is equal to new scanner. This will allow you to intake inputs from the user. Simple. Without this scanner class, we cannot intake inputs from the user. While running the program, the user can input some numbers. User can give some numbers. If you want to intake such kind of numbers from the user while running the program, we need to use we need to create an object for the scanner class like this and import this scanner from java.util package and this constructor cannot be empty. Here we need to type system.in. That's it, okay, system.in. 
done. So we have created an object for the scanner class that's done. And next thing is that we need to ask the user to enter first number. So enter first number. So the user has to give two numbers here, six and 12 are the examples. So such kind of numbers user has to give. Let's think about user is trying to end after looking at this particular text in the output, user is trying to enter number six as a first number. So we need to capture this number into our Java program. For doing so, we need to copy this scanner object and uh, what type of input this is? It's an integer. So we need to call this method known as next int method. This will capture the, or this will intake the input from the numerical or integer kind of uh, input from the users. Once this particular command intakes the input from the user, we can store that this uh, captured number into a variable. Let me give the name of the variable as uh, first name. Sorry, first number, first number, first number, or the mouse, or we can say f f number. F number stands for first number. Create local variable. Done. Then we have to ask the user to enter the second number now. System dot out dot print ln. Enter second number. Enter second. This time user will try to enter another number. Let's say for example twelve. This number again we need to intake into our Java program for that. The same steps we have to follow. Scanner dot next int because this input is also an integer input. So we have to call this command next int, which will capture the integer kind of inputs from the user. And we can store that captured inputs into a variable here. Uh, let's say s number. S number stands for second number. Or the mouse create local variable. Done. We have captured the required numbers from the user. Once you are done capturing the required inputs, and uh, if there is no other inputs uh, to be captured from the user. We can simply close this scanner object guys. Okay, scanner dot close. As part of the best practice, we have to close so that the warning message also will be resolved. Fine. And this is not mandatory, but if you do so, it will be part of the best practice. Once this is done, now we need to write the logic for finding the greatest common divisor of given two numbers. How to find? For that. We will create a for loop guys for int starting from one guys. You see here six is there. You started dividing the six starting from one till that six. Here twelve is there. You started dividing this twelve starting from one to twelve. The same logic we have to apply. So we have to say i is equal to one. Here i less than or equal to the first number till i is. You see for six. Till six, we have to iterate, right? Till for six, till six, we have to iterate the for loop. But here, multiple conditions we have to provide. I less than or equal to f number. At same time, I less than or equal to twelve also, because for twelve, we need to iterate till twelve. So I less than or equal to f number and I less than or equal to s number. Put a semicolon. So whatever, okay. So whatever uh, both the conditions should match, guys. Uh, in this case, what happens is till six only it will keep on dividing. Okay, the lesser number only it will take. But we don't know, right? This one is lesser or this one is lesser because user sometimes may give lesser number here. Sometimes user may enter lesser and greater number here. So that's why we have to simply blindly put this kind of condition where i less than or equal to f number and i less than or equal to s number. Then i plus plus simply i plus plus. Now we need to. Find out that is uh, if if this f number that is let's say six percentile i okay percentile i will give you the reminder right is equal to zero and also the s number percentile i is equal to zero both the cases. We are dividing. Let's say we are dividing uh, six with one. One six is six. The condition is matching here, and here twelve also we are dividing. The second number also we are dividing by one and checking whether we are getting the remainder as zero. One twelve is a twelve zero. What happens here is here we will create a variable guys. Int gcd is equal to initially I'll set the gcd to zero guys. Gcd means greatest common divisor that we want to find. So I'll copy this GCD. If these two conditions match, then I will assign simply I to this GCD. 
here one is dividing six properly and twelve is dividing uh, twelve is being divided by one properly and we are getting both the cases reminder zero so in the first iteration one one will be assigned to gcd and again i plus plus will happen initially in case of one 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 is properly dividing right so one less than both the conditions are matching and i plus plus next next iteration i will become two in case of two two less than f number yes two less than six and two less than 12 true so i'll go inside the for loop here f number percentile two six percentile two remainder zero yes correct s number that is this one 12 percentile two here also remainder zero both the conditions are matching this time i will be earlier gcd is holding one now two is also evenly dividing both the numbers so now two will be replacing this one guys so in place of one two will be replaced like that we can we keep on increasing this number guys to find the greatest common divisor this keeps on incrementing now i becomes three so this condition is true anyhow we'll go inside uh, six percentile three remainder zero 12 percentile three remainder zero so i will be assigned to gcd so i will be i is nothing but three three got assigned to gcd now i became four 4 less than 6, 4 less than 12. True. We go inside the for loop. Now, F number percentile 4. Not possible. Condition is false. So, nothing will be done. I, I, will, I will be incremented by 5. So, 5 less than 6, 5 less than 12. And here also, 5 is not dividing 6 and 12. So, this condition will be false and will not be doing anything. Here, coming to 6. 6 less than or equal to 6. 6 less than or equal to 12. True. Both the conditions are true. So, we'll go inside. Here, first number 6 percentile 6, yes, 0. 12 percentile 6, yes, 0. So now I will be assigned. That is, I is nothing but 6, guys. 6 will be assigned to GCD. Now, next thing 7. Like that, keep on going, guys. 7. 7 less than or equal to first number. Is 7 less than first number? No. So this for loop will be done. We'll come out of the for loop. Like this, guys. This, this is how the program will get executed. And at the end, you see the greatest common divisor that we thought that is 6 is assigned to GCD. Simply we need to print out like the system.out.println the greatest common divisor of given numbers is simply print this GCD guys. You will get the result plus GCD and simply run the program now and you should get the output as Let's see that. Let's see the output properly. Okay, it will ask the user to enter two numbers and after that you'll get the output. When I run the program, it's asking the user to enter the first number. I'm giving the same number that is six and enter the second number. I'm giving the second number as 12. Sorry, I uh, just wrongly entered something. That's fine. It didn't consider the greatest common divisor of given numbers is six. Here uh, numbers. Again, let's run it again, guys. There was a typo. First number, six. Second number, 12 press enter the greatest common divisor of given number 6 and 12 is 6 it's working perfectly fine so can do you want to check with any other things like 30 and 60 let's try with 30 and 60 so 30 is the first number 60 is the second number you see the greatest common divisor of given numbers is 30 31 the 30 32 the 60 dividing both so that is the greatest common divisor so this program is working perfectly fine so hope guys you understood how to write a java program to find the greatest common divisor of given numbers so that's it guys thank you bye